mentioned before the break, we have four different chances for thunderstorms, and the one behind me is the first one. And that's the one I want to focus on mainly tonight because as you get further out a day or more, it gets a lot more difficult to, to forecast these uh, thunderstorms. But the one that's located right over Bemidji right now, that's the one we're going to focus on here tonight. So that's the one that we're having a low risk for severe storms. Let me, let me remind you, we don't have a low risk of thunderstorms. We, we all, most of us will see thunderstorms tonight. It's the low risk of severe storms. So that's damaging winds, damaging hail, tornadoes. Those are the severe ones. We do have a risk of them. It is low, but it's still there. So we have to be prepared here tonight. So here is that first round of rain. We're going to do the zoomed out picture first, and then we'll I'll show you the zoomed in one. So this is tonight at 10 p.m. We have this large upper level low, cold front stretching all the way down the country. And we have the secondary low, which we saw spinning right over Bemidji on the radar just a second ago. And that will be moving into our area. That's the first round of thunderstorms. By tomorrow afternoon, this is Saturday at 2 p.m. The next round, the second of four rounds, is the cold front that will pass through with this upper level low in this secondary low pressure system. So Saturday afternoon is another round of some thunderstorms. Then we have another cold front that forms for this upper level low. That stretches across the country. This is Sunday morning. This model is showing uh, some rain Sunday morning that could be severe. It could be a very similar situation to what we're seeing tonight. But again, I said this model because other ones aren't necessarily showing that. And I'll show you that in just a second. Then Sunday afternoon, we have the other cold front passing through the area. That's the fourth round for thunderstorms. So we're going to have a very busy uh, weekend. Uh, at least I'll have a very busy weekend tracking all these storms. So I'll zoom it in right here. Monday will be nice. So here's the 10 p.m. This model is a little bit behind. I think these storms could be a little closer to the Twin Ports by 10 p.m. So my timing for Duluth will be between 10 p.m. and around 2 a.m. And again, it's really hard to track the timing of these storms. But you can see these purples and pinks are indicating very, very heavy rain, very strong winds. And you can notice this bow echo forming just by Moose Lake. That's indicating very strong winds. That's why my biggest concern is strong winds over 70 miles per hour. And obviously, you can't rule out a tornado. By midnight, this model is showing the rain and thunderstorms over the Twin Ports. But it does show the majority of the moisture down to the south. So Siren, Solon Springs over towards Hayward, looks like they could see some pretty severe cells tonight, tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. It kind of breaks up and it moves to the east. So Ashland by 2 a.m. could start getting into those very strong winds and it slowly moves out of the area. And we kind of get a low point Saturday morning. So Saturday morning, take a little breath. We could see some showers and thunderstorms about, but mainly it'll wait till the afternoon as we have that cold front passing through Saturday around 2 p.m. And that's our second round of thunderstorms. This one doesn't look as impressive to me but it's still a chance where we could see a few severe wet cells or thunderstorms. Sunday morning, this model is showing no rain. So I showed you before the other one was showing some rain and thunderstorms. This one is not. So we're not as certain about the Sunday morning system, but Sunday afternoon, this model is also showing that cold front. So Sunday afternoon looks pretty sure we could see some uh, thunderstorms. So threats for these thunderstorms, these are just for tonight. Moderate threat for winds, moderate threat for hail. Low for flood, low for tornado, but that threat is still there. So my main concern is definitely the winds with gusts up towards 70 miles per hour. Forecast for tonight. 63 degrees in Duluth with tons of uh, thunderstorms, clouds, pretty muggy out there tomorrow. High around 83 before those storms come through in the afternoon, bringing us some rain and uh, the possibility for some more severe cells. Here's the seven day quickly. Saturday and Sunday, we see the Thunderstorms that I've been tracking, I just showed you a second ago, but then by the time we get to Monday, the weather calms down and looks nice for the week. So really busy week, weekend. <laughs> You're weather. a little out of breath, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely out of breath. Yeah. I just want to focus mainly on the ones going through in the next few hours. Yeah. That's, those are the ones that could be damaging. And we'll get one, we'll have four rounds, we'll do one at a time throughout the weekend. That's a good way to tackle definitely it. Definitely get the weather out too. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Alex, thank you.